Nick in Belfast, Ireland writes to me on a subject that we covered yesterday, but I think this is kind of interesting, so let's, let's, let's go through it a little bit in, in greater depth. And it has to do with the dimensionality of the soundstage, which I know uh, a lot of people, you know, gosh, we talk all, uh, all the time about the soundstage, this holographic image about how to achieve this magic where if you turn the lights off or you just close your eyes, you can't tell where the speakers are and all of that. And I know a lot of people watching this just shake their head and go, yeah, I've never heard such a thing. I, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. And, and I get it. And you know what? I'll keep talking and yapping about it until someday <laughs> more and more people go, oh my gosh, that's what he's talking about. Okay. So, hello, Paul. Fascinated with your YouTube channel. Thank you. And I'm a satisfied owner of a PS Audio mains generator. Go Nick. What gives the impression of height in a stereo system? It kind of goes against logic for a two-channel system to give the impression of height or what's the opposite of height? Depth? No. See, my brain ain't working all that well. But I am <laughs> listening to a track and I can hear the guitar underneath the singer's voice in the drum kit above. Your thoughts would be interesting to your viewers as well, I'm sure. And I'll tell you right up front, I have no expert answer on this. I'm sure acousticians with big calculators and lots of complex math that I don't understand could explain much about how this works. But here's what I can tell you. As we talked about in yesterday's video about soundstage, stereo, two-channel, binaural sound is an illusion. And that illusion is dependent on a whole bunch of stuff. Phase angles, the, the shape of the, the waves in terms of frequency response. If, if, the, if the left channel, for whatever reason, is slightly down in high frequencies relative to the right channel, you'll get this, it'll skew. You know, the, the center will just be off enough and you'll start noticing it. I, I've had people just, I, I can't, you know, they'll use the balance control to fix it. And, and it turns out there are tweeters down, you know, that lost for whatever reason. And we fix things like that and get it back up. But it's all very dependent on the room, the setup of the speakers. Oh my gosh, how big a deal is that? Huge. Speaker setup is perhaps the most important aspect of achieving high-end audio sound of anything we do got to have great speakers and you got to set them up great. That's, that, that's, and, and here's a, a shameless plug and everybody loves it when I do a shameless plug, but I just finished a book called, uh, it's, it's book two of the Audiophiles Guide and this book is The Loudspeaker and I, we really go into depth on how to get magic in your system through simple means. Not, you don't have to spend any money. You just have to put in a weekend's worth of work to make magic. And it's, yeah, it's really cool. It's got a really step-by-step -step CD that goes along with it. Anyway, height. Well, a couple of things to think about. And we've just gone over all the illusion and setup, and if you get it right, absolutely can you tell the height. Some of it is kind of a trick. Now, most speakers, have the tweeter high, right? I, I've never seen a speaker with a tweeter down below. I've seen some of them with the tweeter in the middle, uh, but most of them have the tweeter up high. The second thing is much of what we hear in height is related to the higher frequencies. I know that just sounds maybe trite, but it's not because the higher the frequency, the more directional it is, okay? And lower frequencies aren't very directional. Also, <clears throat> when you're making a recording or when you, when you are recording something, there is a difference in the recording in terms of height. So think about this. When I, <clears throat> see if I can do this. So you hear the sound of my voice and as I get 
closer and closer and closer down to the floor. Do, can you hear what's happening to my voice? You see how I get, it's when I get close to a boundary, my voice gets very, very different. It, change, it takes on a very different characteristic. And as I move up, the, you notice how the tonal balance changes? And if I were to, I'm probably going to kill myself, right? No, I ain't going to do it. I was going to get up closer. These boxes don't look very stable. I know I'll kill myself. Take my word for it. When I get up closer to the speaker, it gets even thinner, and, or the ceiling, it gets even thinner and thinner. So there is a frequency balance that's sort of ingrained in our head. Low things are, are more coupled to the floor and have a different tonal balance, which, which you just heard, as opposed to things that are higher. And the tweeter is higher. And you couple those things together, and you'll find that there is a height going on. Now, a lot of it isn't even real. A lot of it, when we record something, like at Octave Records, and at Octave Studios, when we record singers, of course, a lot of times they're standing up. So yeah, you don't have that, that proximity effect. But a lot of times they're sitting down, too. And it sounds like they're standing up when you're listening to them. So it's, again, it's, I know that's not a great explanation, but I think maybe it'll get you a little closer <laughs> to the answer. And I, I, I do hope that helped. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the question. We'll, we'll keep at it. Okay. Take it easy.